So I just bought two bikes the other day from Dick's Sporting Goods. Uh, the first one is this green one here. It's a 27 and a half inch uh, bike, but it looks like it has a small frame. Uh, if you look at the bike next to it, it's a 26 inch bike. And they're really about the same height. Um, the green one here is a Huffy. I paid $229 for it. Um, seems like a really nice bike. It's a seven speed. It's got a adjustable seat to where you don't need any tools or anything like that. Uh, has a place here where you could add a water bottle and the pedals were loose. So I had to tighten up the pedals, but everything else seemed to be pretty tight. Uh, I had to adjust the back brake cause you squeeze the, um, brake handle all the way and it, it wouldn't, uh, stop. So I tightened it up so it matched the front brake. You can see that. So, uh, I mean, it's a, a pretty nice bike. It has the Shimano gears. It's got a double reflector on the back. It doesn't have any place for storage, uh, but it'd be nice if it, you know, had, you know, some type of bracket, you know, like on the back of here, um, you know, there's a bracket, but, uh, you would think like in the older days where it had like a little lift thing. So you could put like a water bottle in there. Um, but I guess they make you, uh, go ahead and buy a water bottle. So I just touched base with, uh, this one real fast. This, this bike over here was, uh, $279 and it was, uh, also the Shimano, uh, type, uh, uh, gearing system. And this is a Woodgrove brand. Uh, this one has the end caps that come off so you can put on the end mirrors. Uh, if you look at this one over here, um, the handle grip does not come off uh, or the end caps do not come off. So you wouldn't be able to put the mirror on that. So if you wanted to use these hand grips again, you would have to cut the end off and then uh, put the mirror on there. And I'm sure that wouldn't look very, uh, very nice. Um, so as far as changing the gears, both bikes are the same. Uh, this black area is what you would twist and it tells you what gear that you're in uh, so we're in second gear so if you turn this down towards you it put it into third gear it's a little bit hard to see with the light on you you could see it uh that there's a two and when like i said when you turn the handle down it'll go to uh third gear and so on so uh that's how you change the gears and uh, these are uh, rubber hand grips where on the other bike there are leather hand grips so uh you know you pay a little bit more money for uh this bike here and you get leather hand grips but you know it's not really a big deal so without even riding uh either one of these bikes uh, at least about the brown one or an allen wrench to adjust the seat height which makes it inconvenient, especially nowadays where uh, everything is the quick change, quick release. So you just pull this out and then you can raise and lower the seat. And you would think the wheels would be that way as well. But um, the, the way the wheels work, you have to unbolt them and that goes on uh, both of the bicycles. But it seems like they're pretty much made the same. I don't believe the brown one is a Huffy brand, but it may be because just of the fenders being the same and some of the features being the same. Like for example, it has a bolt pattern here for the fender and then one for the uh, upper rack. And if you look at this one, it has one for the fender and then the unused one that would be for the rack. Uh, it has two mounting plates for the reflectors where this one doesn't have any mounting plate for the reflector. Uh, it is one reflector on the back of the fender. With all the road noise that I had on this trip, I figured I'd just go ahead and do a voiceover. 
So the bike actually rides pretty well. Uh, one thing that I did notice whenever I stand up the pedal, uh, it makes some odd squeaking noises. I couldn't figure out where that uh, is coming from yet. And at the very beginning of the video, uh, you'll hear a lot of loud clicking uh, back and forth. I even put a message in there about the clicks. And that was me trying to get the bike into seventh gear. Um, as I shift through the gears, it was going into first gear, second gear, third gear, uh, all the way into sixth gear very well. Uh, seventh gear wouldn't go. So I did uh, play around with it, and that's why there was so much clicking, was I was going from first gear to seventh gear, and then it would drop into the seventh gear. So I'm going to have to put the bike on a bench and probably do some fine adjustments on the cable, just so I'll have... Uh, more travel distance on the derailleur that changes the, the gears on each sprocket. So the first part of this video, I was in the lead and my wife was behind me. And she didn't want to ride on this busy road. So we're going to go ahead and turn around and I'll let her lead. And then you could see how my bike is working compared to hers. So here we are turned around now. My wife is in the lead and I'm a rather aggressive rider. I either like to be in front or side by side or tailgating. And as you can see, she's not pedaling very, very hard sitting down. And as the bike in the camera view, how it's shaking back and forth, that's me standing up to try to catch up with her. On her bicycle, she has the thinner tires, and mine are more of a, you know, for lack of better words, maybe a beach tire, uh, if you will. So uh, maybe that's giving me some drag, I don't know, but uh, it is a lot more work to ride on my bicycle than it is on hers. But uh, I stand up the ride and I'm going up the hill, so this is why I'm able to start catching up. And then she doesn't stand up the ride, so she stopped. So here we are on a back road. And she's constantly pedaling as I am constantly pedaling. And you can see how she is getting farther and farther away. So I would have to say for the price, her bike is probably a little bit better than mine. Uh, maybe it's just because of the skinny tires, I'm not really sure. But both bikes are really nice. Mine has the adjustable seat, which hers doesn't. Hers has the thinner tires, so you know, wouldn't be able to go into the beach very well. Uh, mine has the bigger tires, so uh, not that I'd be able to ride on the beach. But uh, they're both good for uh, riding on the boardwalk, on side roads, the bike trail. Uh, probably not so much on loose gravel or using it as a mountain bike type. But with it being a six speed, you really a little bit more difficult to go up and down hills or up hills anyway. If you like this video, please subscribe. If you would like to see any other type of videos, put a comment down below and just give me a thumbs up. Thank you for stopping over to Around the House.